Hey people, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to um, talk about MDs per usual on this channel. Um, that's pretty much the only thing that I've posted so far. That's because I'm a businesswoman and that's not an excuse. I'm gonna try to do that um, more, post more. Um, but today is an empties video again, which I feel like is always helpful and always one of my favorites to watch. So here are all my empties. Um, it's mostly skincare products, but it could be some makeup, probably not. Um, and then um, I think like home care, mostly like candles and stuff like that. So let's head into it. I will let you know if I'll repurchase it, um, how I felt about it, all of that. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we have is um, Miss Meyer's Clean Day Lavender Candle. Candle? Candle. Um, 35 hour burn. It was okay. I mean, it, it smells exactly like the Mrs. Lemons. Mrs. Lemons? Where did that even come out of my mouth? Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day um, lavender scent. So um, it does smell good. I like it. Um, but this last portion, I couldn't get it to burn, so that kind of sucked. Okay. Um, the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Essence. This has always been in my routine as an extra hydrator. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing right away, um, but I do like that product. The Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. I absolutely love this. I haven't repurchased it since I ran out of it, but I've been wanting to, so I will probably most definitely repurchase this. I think this is a great all-around product, especially for people that are dehydrated. I need that extra boost. I use it for I use it for like one of my first steps as a toner, hydrator, and then um, I can go over like my makeup and everything with it as well. And it smells really delightful, which who doesn't want that? The Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. This guy was really good. I use this twice a day, every single day and it's two ounces and it took me forever to get through. I'm kind of testing to see what my face does without it to see if I'll start breaking out a lot, but if I do, I'm gonna repurchase this. So I really did enjoy this product. It is, um, I think 0.75% salicylic acid. So it has a good percentage in there. So I really enjoyed it and it's a good texture as well. Aha. So the calendula fennel hydrosol. So I really loved this. This is a really good anti-inflammatory. It's great for lymphatic support and wound healing. Um, so this is what this looks like. It's just an extra like hydrating boost. I use this instead of a toner because I don't use a stripping cleanser. I'm so sorry, I'll keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm gonna try to look at you. But um, this is one of my favorite products. You but um, this is one of my favorite products to use. I love all of their hydrosol. They are the line that I use for organic facials, and then I also retail, retail their product. Who doesn't love these? If you don't know most of these, oh my god, so this is the Tangerine Mango um, scented candle from Loft number seven. Um, and there's so many candles that smell like this. Uh, the most famous one that I can think of is the one from Anthropology. Oh my god, all the Anthropology candles smell so good. Um, but this smells like it's a dupe for it, and I found it at Tuesday morning, so I thought it was good. It was like eight bucks instead of like definitely worth it. I always pick those up at like Tuesday morning or something when I find them because that's like bar none of my favorite scent. That and like a tobacco smelling candle, like a man smelling candle is my fave. This one was um, teakwood and ginger from it just says soy wax candle on the thing. I got this for Christmas but it did smell really good but as you can see like there's probably like this much that didn't burn so anything that happens like that I'm just not a fan of because I want to use everything up. So when I'm not able to do so, it's kind of frustrating, but. Okay, and then exfoliator toner pads. 
This is from Tamara's Sugar. I've talked about these before. I really like them for my face and you can use them for your body. They're really great for ingrown hair. This is the company that I use for sugar. So they come out with a bunch of different things to go with their sugar line and this is the Juice Beauty Sport SPF 30 sunscreen. This would be great for the body and it is great for the body, um, but it, unfortunately it does have um, coconut oil in it as like the fourth ingredient. Yeah, I just can't do coconut oil on my face anymore. So this one I bought like two years ago and I only got partially way through because I was using it for my face and then I switched to Kula. So I ended up not using it. I got a second one at home for my body that I just bought this summer. So hopefully I can use that up. This is the Kula Mineral Matte Cucumber sunscreen SPF 30. This was my absolute favorite sunscreen. I'm very oily and this is a matte consistency so I really enjoyed it. It's also it's also zinc oxide so um, it protects from UVA and UVB so I really enjoy that. It was great. It does pill with some really tacky like serums and stuff like that so that's kind of why I'm looking for a different one at the moment but this will probably always be a go-to for me. Here hopefully you can't see that. Um, yeah, cats and oil products, um, bottles, don't go well together. Um, but this is the Balancing Oil Cleanser from Botnia. I'm going to just try to cover all of that hair. Hopefully you can't see much of that. Um, but I really enjoy this product. It is, um, very it is very balancing for hormones. And it's great for acne. It's actually targeted for people that have more oily skin. It's great for everyone, but... Um, Botany, I wanted to create a product that was great for oily skin specifically because I found in the market that there weren't a lot of oil-based cleansers um, or oil cleansers were meant for oily skin. They were always targeted to dry people, so they wanted to target one for oily skin. Okay, so these, um, this is the Voluspa. Voluspa? Vol. I don't know. This is what you get from, um... anthropology but this one smells this is a french cade and lavender this is one of my absolute favorite scents in the, as well so these two scents if you get these for me i'm a happy fucking person because they just smell so good this is what my i want my boyfriend to smell like at 24 7 and this is what i want to smell like 24 7 and then i also want to smell like this like 50% of the time, so I don't know. Oh, it smells so good. Like, a fun fact about me, I will always go in the men's cologne section area to find my scent because I just, I never like female scents. Like, I like fruity esque scents, and then I like manly scents. I don't like floral at all. Um, so, this is actually a really cool company. Um, shit. It's not shit. Um, Malicious Woman Co. Can, um, can, Malicious Woman Candle Co. There we go. They are based in Washington State. They are in Snohomish, Washington, and they are a woman-owned business, a small business, and a local business to me. And I'd love to support women-owned small businesses in the area because I know as a small business owner, it means a lot when you get support, especially from people around um, near you. So, um, she makes candles and uh, she makes them and they look like this. Um, they, all of the packaging, um, they all have like different kind of sayings on them. And then she has like around 20 different scents that you can choose in the candle. This one says, shit, fuck, damn, infused with sentence enhancers. And I just think it's so cute. I love the look of this. I was actually trying to get this, um, to like sell for you guys at my store but there's already people around me that are selling this which is awesome i'm super happy to support them as well so yeah i think this is an awesome candle it burns for 45 minutes it's also organic soy um it's just a great company this one is cedar and bourbon it smelled really good i thought it was going to smell differently but when i got it and burned it i actually really liked it so yes this is one of their candles and then um their other candle that i got exotic hemp that was the scent and then it says hi af with billion dollar ideas so 
everybody knows when you get high, you always have really funky ideas. And I thought this was really cool. And then this also came with a set of matches and the matches say, let's get lit on them. And it also came with a little kind of, um, bottle of rolling for joints and stuff like that which i just thought was a super cool idea so it was a really um cute bundle and the scent is exotic hemp which i think i said previously i think it's just a cool idea she put that all together and um she's really catering to her audience like there's you can pretty much um find any saying on here relating to anything teachers family pets um anything um political ideas so I really highly recommend checking out her company um, and supporting a small business. So I'll link that below as well. Okay, the Rose Geranium Hydrosol from um, Botnia, of Botnia, of course. Uh, this is also one of my go-tos. This is really great for hormonal acne and I really suffer from hormonal acne. So it's really great for balancing that out and then also giving it just a boost of hydration. It's also great for anti-inflammatory. Okay, so this is my favorite toothpaste that I've used that is like a clean toothpaste. Um, it's from Hello. It is, uh, I will use kind of any of their um, toothpaste. I don't really care if it's like the farm grown mint or whatever this one is a fluoride toothpaste they do have fluoride free ones but i honestly think it's important to have a fluoride back to candles so this is another seattle washington brand um and they do a really cool thing as well this is from good and well supply co they do candles out of tin which is also cool that's um a metal wick but I did have trouble burning this one, so it went to like here. I will try this brand again though, and I'm hoping I just got like a bad one. But um, they do, this one says Rainier. They have one for the Grand Tetons and a few other things. So I've always lived in Washington and, and I've lived in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So those two specifically jump out to me. I'd really like to smell both of them. I really like this one. It smells very manly and good. Um, so I'd like to try the Grand Teton one, but they have a bunch of different places and like specific scents for those. So I think that's really cool. So you can get this one in Seattle or I think online on their website. So, okay. so this is the Organic Bath Co. Um, Naked Organic Body Butter. And at first I wasn't like that big of a fan of this. Um, just because it doesn't have that much of a scent or any scent at all. It's just organic shea butter, organic sunflower seed oil, organic jojoba oil, organic argan oil, and certified organic ingredients. They're all certified. That's all there is in this. And there's literally like no smell and I was just not, I like smells in my stuff, but I also like really clean products and really, um, natural products. So I think just one day I was like, you know what, fuck it. Like, let me just try it. And the, um texture of this is so different it's like whipped and cooling it's like almost like has like a foaming effect in it where it like cack cackles no um pops what like you know when you have like those little things that you put in your mouth and they fizz fizzing there we go i don't know the right word but i think you guys know what i mean hopefully i don't know pop rocks that's what I mean, the, that little sensation. But um, yeah, I really do like that. I would repurchase it, to be honest. To be honest. Okay, the Josh Rose book, um, Cacao Antioxidant Mat. Honestly, I will not repurchase this just because I don't like the smell. I don't like the smell of like anything citrusy, and this one just smells like straight up oranges. Um, and I'm not a fan of that. I did kind of like, yeah, it's just every single time I wore it, it just kind of made me so that's a no for me um but I mean it was fine on my skin I didn't notice too much of a difference using it so um the Alifia always um I have two empties of these and then I had another um so this one is the coconut and mint so I always, if you've seen my empties before, you've seen these before, and I always have a bunch of them. Um, that's just my go-to lip balm. It works really well. It's very natural. You can find it at like Whole Foods or PCC if you're in the Washington, Oregon area, PCC. 
Um, but yeah, I think Oregon Pacific Central community. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. But you can definitely find it at PCC if you have a PCC near you. Um, okay, this is the Evan Healy Lavender Facial Toner Hydrosol. Wow, I did not say that right. This is the Evan Healy Lavender Facial Tonic Hydrosol. So I love this. I've talked about this a lot of times in my empties. I really enjoy this. This smells great. The first time that I tried this, I hated the smell. And then when I went back to it, it's like an addicting smell. So I really enjoy this. Um, it just is great for hydration and not great for calming. So if I'm really trying to like push hydration into my skin, I'll use something like this or the calendula fennel or the rose uh, geranium one. So any of these. Guys, I will use something like this and um, kind of do the 10 step method. Yeah, I think that's the one where um, you take a hydrosol and um, do it 10 times and press it into your skin and that gives you a bunch of different... I'm not saying this right and that just gives you a bunch of um, hydration and plumping in your skin. There you go. Oh, I have another candle for you guys. This is just a lid because I think uh, the glass container got thrown away. But this is um, from the Dank Crystal. It's also a Seattle, Washington brand. Um, the smell that I got was Trailblazer Brazer? Blazer, um, and it smelled very good. I really, really liked the scent of this. And there was a crystal in um, the little jar so once you melted it down you got a crystal to add to your collection which I think is really cool and it just smelled really good and the packaging was really cool and I love the aesthetic of the company I highly recommend checking them out as well all right so this is the 100% um, pure restorative sea culture replenishing serum so this is a hyaluronic acid serum from hyaluronic from 100% pure. Um, I really love this cleanser. What are the words coming out of my mouth? I really love this serum. Um, it is very thin. It is awesome for hydration. It really does plump the skin. It does a great job. I got too used to this because I was using this constantly. I bought like seven tubes of this and I was using it in a row. So my skin got used to it and kind of stopped reacting to it. So I used a different hyaluronic acid serum. I've been using the Botnia one, um, but I may go back to this one in the daytime because it doesn't pill with anything. It's not very thick. It's really thin. Um, so yeah, so it goes under makeup and goes under like sunscreen and stuff really, really well. Uh, and then uh, the the one that I've been using from Botnia has a way bigger percentage of hyaluronic acid. It's pretty much just straight hyaluronic hyaluronic acid instead of this being less than one percent of hyaluronic acid it does still work great um but there is a big difference so i think i'm going to keep the botnia one in my nighttime routine and then keep this one in the daytime routine because it just goes really great under makeup and under sunscreen and when you find something that doesn't pill under sunscreen it works really well you just want to stay you want to stay you don't want to leave you want to you want to keep the og so Gonna keep this one i really do enjoy it all right so i have um i talked about this in my like declutter video which i don't know if i've posted yet or not but um these are uh sunday riley products i bought them like right before about i heard about her scandal um and so i just stopped using them and then in december it would have been about a year so i just kept them and i was like maybe i'll use them but this doesn't smell great, so I was just like, fuck it. Um, same with this one, doesn't smell like it used to. And then um, the Good Jeans, I'm really sad about this because I did really like this, but it also pilled under makeup, so I kind of stopped using it in the morning, which is when you're supposed to use it anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that as well because it's expired anyway. And then, I don't know why, this, well actually I do, I'm just kidding. Um, I have two, things in here. I have the St. Jane Luxury Beauty Serum. This is 20 milligrams of CBD. Um, I actually did like this. I had like three or four uses out of this. It was um, a 
I think gift from Sephora. I got like a bunch of different testers. So this is one of them. And uh, yeah, I really liked this. So I might end up purchasing a full one and see how I liked it. My skin didn't react badly or anything. So, um, and then the Saint, this isn't the Saint Jane's, Lord Jones. The Lord Jones um, High CBD Formula in a Stiletto Cream. Uh, so my mom got this in like a box or something and she let me have it, which was so nice of her. Um, and I loved the scent of this. It smelled really, really good. Um, and I would definitely try out another Lord Jones product. So I'm gonna see how that goes. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Indie Lee Daily Skin Nutrition. Nutrition? Daily Skin Nutrition. Um, I used this a little bit when I was just like in between lotions. Um, and honestly, it's not my favorite. I don't think it is meant for oily skin. I think this is meant more for like dry to normal skin. Um, yeah, I feel like if I'm going to go for a moisturizer, it's going to be something that is mostly hydration and then also a little bit of oil and moisturizer, but mostly that um, water content is what I need. So that is what I'm going to go for. So uh, something like the Botnia Daily um, Face Cream Light is great for a day-to-day -day cream for me. Um, so that is what I've been using day-to-day, -day, but I really also have been liking... I used to use the 100% pure, um, a high Laronic one, the Sea Culture lotion. There, uh, I used to use the 100% pure Hydra Drench um, lotion thing, um, and I really, really liked it, but there is coconut oil in it, so I ended up stopping using it because I feel like it was giving me sebaceous filaments on the sides of my face. So um, once I've switched to Botnia, that hasn't been happening. So I'm pretty much going to stick with that one for a while. All right. Um, I think that is all. Oh, I keep lying to you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to lie to you. Um, this is the last thing. This is a nail file. I've had it forever. My mom has had it forever. I'm pretty sure she's the one that bought this. But it is a metal nail file. And as you can see, there's holes in it. And all of this right here is like not abrasive anymore at all. It's just completely gone. So this will be thrown away as well unfortunately and then i'm gonna try and look for glass ones because i feel like that is probably gonna be the most sustainable and i think they last for a very long time i've heard so i'll be looking into that all right guys let's put it all back in the back Okay guys, um, thank you so much for um, watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helped you a little bit um, in deciding what you might pick up in um, the future. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna follow me, please give me a follow. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. All right, 